Yeah, sorry guys, I'm late for those news, but it is better late than never. So let me show you over here. NASA or NASA astronauts return to Earth on SpaceX capsule after nine freaking months saga. That happened because of the Boeing spaceship malfunction. So they had to spend nine months in a space. Then they intended to participate a small short research, which could take them like several days, several weeks at least. So luckily they're back, but we have kind of the huge speculation about the video of their return. Again, from the supporters of the flat Earth theories or came trails whatsoever they claim that this video of return is the freaking ai to fool us around that nasa again shows us some of the cgi and obviously twitter is the place where do we have all of those fake news coming about the ai generated videos you may find it kind of meaningful that the platform which belongs to elon musk spreads fakes about the company that belongs to elon musk hmm Splashdown, Crew 9, back on Earth. But let's watch this video all together and you tell me whether it's AI generated or real, because I could be full buffoon here telling you a real story as I see it, but maybe it's definitely AI. Let's watch. So we should see it any second now. And there you are getting a great view of Crew-9 inside Dragon Freedom as it returns back to Earth. We are awaiting the drogue deploys. This view coming from the... At first there should be stabilized parachutes deployment, which stabilized the capsule. And later on they pull out the main parachutes. WB-57 high altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Nice. I wonder what could happen to the capsule without the main parachute deployment. I think it would just crash, collapse and obviously internal shock would just damage everything inside and inside there are four of the astronauts. The crowd here very excited. Miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. Nice. That view was from inside. Four parachutes. I also wonder what happens if some of those parachutes uh, would not just expand or deploy. Hmm. Would the three parachutes rescue the capsule or not? Uh, but luckily here we have everything going smoothly, not like the case with Boeing. <laughs> As you see, it takes quite a while for those parachutes to extend, expand fully. A great view there of the reefing on those parachutes, and as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, they're freaking big, they're really huge. So, those astronauts are inside, and let's look for this camera, they're very close to the ground, so we're here. Let's watch the impact, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown. Yeah, for sure this is filmed on the wrong camera. Uh, probably launched from the local spectator boat or rescue boat. Located in the Gulf of America. Um, off Gulf of America. The coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah, as you can see, the parachutes, they're not stable. And just before the ground, somehow they extend like before they even hit each other here Tallahassee, Florida. then expand extend just before the impact and splash down crew nine back on earth and it's really beautiful seeing those parachutes coming down to the water it really looks AI generated because this is so, so beautiful, looks unreal. Perfect weather and almost no wind and the parachutes are coming in those kind of different shapes. And SpaceX Freedom, splash down. Good main release. Copy, splash down. We see main shoots cut. And there are the boats coming and the big mother ship. Nick, Alex, Butch. Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. 
Yeah, but for from the movement of the drone camera, I might understand that it's the real movement. You may also see some of the local contamination of the water because this surface, it took some of the dust from the burning paint and surface of this capsule. Then it went through the atmosphere. Go for recovery personnel to approach. All right, the boats are coming. Expect personnel alongside in the next few minutes. Retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background there. So mothership boats arrive quite fast and what they need to do is just secure the capsule, tighten it with a rope and later this capsule is lifted on the ship and only after that astronauts leave the capsule. Here's the capsule on the ship and they take astronauts out because they cannot walk spending that much time somewhere in the space. Well, as for me, I'll not follow any kind of the conspiracy theory about the case. I understand that Boeing messed up with their ship, so astronauts luckily were returned back with the help of the SpaceX company. And I personally support as many companies as possible to go out there in the space for us to have the competition, because if it was only Boeing, it could be a big problem in this case. So SpaceX, Boeing, and many others should join this race. And we need actually space researches. Well, Musk does it in his own cringy commercial way, but at least his ships are bringing people back to Earth. And you know it's good that the United States is now more or less independent, because before there was cooperation with the Russian space agency to deliver people to orbit. Not any longer. <laughs> so between Elon and Russians, I would choose cooperation with Elon. <laughs> and as for the video itself, well, it just looks beautiful. Unreal, as many say, but go to very beautiful places in our Earth, like Alps in Switzerland or France. Go to Iceland, where everything looks unreal and surreal. And there are pretty much many places in the United States itself for you to check it out. If you are watching me from the United States, but you may find those places in any sort of the countries. Just conditions were absolutely great for those kind of the videos. Wind calm, absolutely transparent atmosphere, everything looks so shiny, bright, and yeah, it looks unreal, but it is real. So I guess it was just my quick reaction about the events happening in the space and on Earth. See you around. Ciao.